so so proud of them. And I, all season long, how they responded to everything we've been doing, everything that we worked on, they really have brought in. Um, they're taking real ownership of this thing, and it's a beautiful thing to watch, man. Um, came out, you know, uh, early, dominated, um, with some, some great defensive play. Offensively, we were clicking, uh, putting up, you know, 40, 40, 40 points in the first half was, was good. We responded well after they after we gave up the big touchdown. So, um, big picture moving forward, you know, I just keep preaching that we got to continue to get better. You know, I think uh, look at a win like this, second half, we pride ourselves on closing games out and having that championship swagger, that championship mentality. Um, and we've got to be able to do that. You know, we Brown scored 13-3 in the second half, so we're going to, we're going to clean those things up. But for the most part, great win for us. Um, six wins, uh, four straight, and that's great, but we still have a lot of work to do. Questions for the student athletes first. Uh, Deshaun, uh, you had a, obviously a uh, great day, but uh, what were you um, what were you seeing you know, out there on the field to kind of allow you to uh, like kind of get open in space and uh, make a few things happen? Uh, I've been seeing, you know, the defense. Uh, they were playing a lot of cover, cover one, cover four. Uh, Coach Boone, he, uh, you know, he coaches up to to beat those type of zones, and uh, I just just seen all the open zones. And I just took it. And what were we watching on the uh, the interception right there? It seemed like you were just uh, you know right on it. Uh, what, did that come from more uh, game tape or watching and studying there, or did that come from more, from, uh, more of the, the things he was kind of showing during the game? Honestly, um, game film, uh, for sure. Just knowing that uh, you know, they like to run a lot of quick slants. Um, but honestly, once I – me just knowing that if he's throwing that first slant window, it's going to come quick. So when I seen that, the first slant didn't come quick, I just automatically went to the, uh, the slant by number one receiver. And then I lost the QB for a second, but me just driving to the receiver, the ball came and then I made it. I made a play after that, so it's a blessing. All right, any other questions for student athletes? If not, you guys can go back to the locker room. Josh, you want some more? You want to answer more questions? <laughs> <laughs> go be <big> blue. <laughs> All right, questions for coach. Andy, was this the most complete game that you guys have played this season? Well, about a half. Well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was already thinking to ask you that question yeah, before I the mean, half. Before, before half, I mean, when he, our offense is, is putting up um, yards and putting up, you know, both rushing and, and going to football. DJ had a really, a really good day. You know, Deshaun um, showed that uh, receivers really took advantage of those opportunities. Um, was really good. Uh, offensively, we clicked. Defensively, we made the stops. We had a defensive touchdown finally. Um, special team wise, we did a decent job for the most part in coverage. Um, still missing opportunities in the return game. So um, I think we're we're still hitting and missing a lot of different places for what I like. But what I do like is that we're um, we understand coming out with a sense of urgency, um, regardless of where we play, the conditions, rain, sleet, snow, hail. You can play in Hale Stadium, you can play in Nissan Stadium, you can play in the parking lot. They understand that in which we play ball, and we're starting to take ownership of that and taking it to another level. So um, I'm really proud of, of how they're buying into that, taking ownership of it. And uh, it's kind of a generic question, but how important is it to get that first winning season under your belt? Uh, it feels great, um, but it's a part of the, the ultimate journey. Um, we set some goals this season, and we were checking them off as we go. Um, you know, to to go undefeated in the, in the month of October was one of those goals, and we accomplished that. Now it's the final grind. You know, three tough opponents, two on the road, one at home, and you know we're not focused on anybody else and what they do in terms of who wins, who loses. But we have to take care of our business, and we have to continue to get better every single week, and that's our goal. You know, my, my thing is I want to be a team, when you look at, at, at the teams that have a chance to win this thing, I want to be in a position where nobody wants to play us because we're playing so well. We're playing with discipline, we play fast, we play physical. Um, we, we're getting better and we're starting to play our best football in November. So that is the ultimate goal and to win these games and, and let them deal with this, how they deal with this, and, and that's how we're going to do, do this thing. What can you say of the play of uh, Terrell Allen? I mean, 
He's playing at a, a otherworldly level right now defensively. That's what you describe it as? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I would be so interested in that. Oh, um, where was he at? Did he have, I can't find his He had four, and Fish was disappointed that he didn't have five because he had a sack on the uh, two-point yeah. conversion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, Monroe had nine tackles, T.A., uh, four sacks. I mean, he, he, he continues to grow. I mean, Biggest, the biggest thing with T.A. is not really necessarily has been his play. His play has been phenomenal, okay? I think he's a, an All-American um, at any level. He, he's dominated every every single game that he's played in. Um, where he's making the most strides is as a, a real leader in the locker room. Um, he's really taking ownership of that part. You know, not very vocal, doesn't have to be, but by his actions, we're starting to see him mature, having better practice habits. Um, teaching the young guys, holding the other guys accountable. Um, all that matters, and that, and that frees you up. Now you're you're saying, I, I'm that guy, you know, follow me. So he's living up to that. So that's what West what you're seeing. You're seeing a byproduct of that on the, uh, on the field. When he told you, when you told us that he told you he was coming back, that's when this all, he started playing so well. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you think he came to some conclusion at that point? And, I think you come to a piece when you made your mind up about what you want to do in your future and what's best for you, you, you say, okay, this is my decision, I'm going to run with it and not being decisive about it. I find that, you know, when players are indecisive about decisions and they have one foot in, one foot out, they don't play as well. You know, you're not fully committed. But he's fully committed to becoming great. I think he's starting to understand what it takes, what it can take to play at that next level. Because they are, they are asking questions mm -hmm. and they are inquiring. And it's not just what you do on the field, it's how you handle yourself off the field. How professional are you? When, again, being on time, taking care of your business, all this stuff. And um, he is continuing to separate himself from the rest of the competition. With uh, Rouse out today and uh, uh, the receiver uh, Cannon mm -hmm. uh, out, uh, did you have any uh, concerns about what the offense might do? Um, there was some, uh, but I, you know, Jordan has been coming on um, in the last couple of weeks, uh, and you know, we have a bevy of running backs that I, that I that I trust. You know, that being Trey and, and, and Craig Cunningham, uh, also Ike Brown. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we don't want to see what they could do in these situations, and um, yeah, they, I didn't have any any reservation about that. You know, we, we I feel like DJ and. Davion have a really good feel for the offense. We have some weapons offensively that we haven't gotten going, get going, haven't had a chance to get going yet. Like Karate and uh, Fat Cat, um, D, um, Deshaun had his day, um, but our tight ends still hasn't gotten involved in the offense like we would like to. So um, there's still a lot of ball left, and there's still a lot of football left, and I think our offense is just realizing, okay, what we can do when we are doing our job, we're protecting, we're executing, and we're being an efficient um, team in terms of getting first downs. We had an explosive, we've had a few explosives all year, uh, but when we're maintaining drives, that's where we're finding our, our, much of our success. Any other questions for Coach? I have one. Okay. Uh, what can you say about um, your offensive line? I know no one you know wants to give them credit or talk about them, but yeah. They're definitely playing at a, a level above they play, where they played last year. What can you say about that? Without question. I mean, everything is in the trenches. And Coach A. Lou is getting everything out of these young men, and they're giving everything that they have. They come to work every day. We push them. We love on them. We lean on them. Um, we mold, we're molding them into what I want them to be. And um, no matter who's in there, um, they're finding ways to get the job done. They have a standard in which they operate with. And, um, quite frankly, last year that was it, that was very inconsistent. You know, we were in a lot of games last year. We, were, we had a chance to win the conference the last two years, uh, but inconsistencies up front in our run game, you know, not having an identity um, was something that was missing. But they understand that we are going to, you know, try to run the football. We're going to establish the run. We're going to take our shots downfield. We're going to be an efficient offense, and it all starts up front. I wanted to ask you about your, your defense, Coach. You had another uh, week of holding an opponent under 300 yards of total offense. You had multiple sacks. And it seems like 
uh, as the season has progressed, particularly over this this winning streak, the defense is playing better mm -hmm. uh, every week. So can you speak to the le the level that your defense is, is reaching as the season goes on? Yeah, um, a goal that I put out there was we need to be to get better every single week. You know, um, as the season goes on and as we progress, you know, championship football is based off of winning, the winning defense and the run game and great special teams play. That travels anywhere in the cold, Again, sleet, snow, hail, rain, heat, doesn't matter. You know, we that's what we pride ourselves on. They take great pride in that. Um, I like the fact that they were upset that they gave up touchdowns at the end of the game. You know, we were outscored in the second half, 13 to three. That's not championship football. That's not the mentality. That's not the standard of that defense. So, um, first half, they, they get after it. And they understand, you know, the task at hand. You know, Brandon Fisher, and Zoe Beatty, and, and Cut, and, and Clyde. Um, they do an outstanding job of getting those guys prepared week in and week out and understanding discipline first and then let your fish fly after that with discipline, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, they've been doing that and, they, and they're, they're playing at a very high level. The chemistry is starting to, to, to come together. We're starting to get healthier defensive line-wise. And I'm hoping to get, you know, a couple of the guys back off the injury that can add to us, add to that, that defensive line um, later in the uh, the next three weeks, so um, I'm really excited about where we are defensively. But you know, penalties is, is you know, that's the key where we we've got to we got to clean that up. Too many too many penalties in, in this game, for 80 for 70 yards, and that's hidden yards you can't count. I know I kind of segued off of that, but that just uh, that hurts me. But uh, we will rectify that. Any other questions for coach? Coach, the last three seasons, the Columbia can handle the world. Keep playing. That's it. Don't. This is the. This is the thing. Um, my favorite poem is "Man in the, in the Arena" by Theodore Roosevelt. I don't know verbatim, but it speaks to that. You know, don't listen to critics. Don't listen to what anybody has to say. You know, you have to continue to operate the way that you can operate, and that's focusing on this craft. The moment that you start worrying about the awards and trying to win an award and making it about yourself, that's when you lose that, that opportunity. The Buchanan Award, the Heisman Trophy winner, Doe Walker, all those awards are team awards, believe it or not, because without the team, you know, you're not able to shine. And he's able to, to rise and show his talents because it's team first. So it'll all be there. You know, um, if we continue to win and do what we need to do, I think accolades will come to a lot of guys, and, and it's in there, and it's deserving of it. Right, thank you. Good. Thank you. Yeah.